I remain guided by the promises I made to you just a short year ago. I said I would lead a city where we locked arms across government and with each other. I said we would act with urgency. I said we would create change and do things differently, and we have. L.A. Mayor Karen Bass delivering her year in review address this morning at the Rose Venice. That restaurant formerly had some 100 unhoused Angelinos sleeping outside, but the encampment was one of many removed under Bass's Inside Safe program. Very dramatic change there. All of this on the one-year anniversary of Bass assuming office. Remember this from a year ago today? Vice President Kamala Harris administering the historic oath of office in a ceremony last December, making Bass the first woman to lead the city of Los Angeles. And joining us now on her one-year anniversary is Mayor Karen Bass. Happy anniversary, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. So one year in, what are you most proud of? I'm most proud of getting people housed who are on the streets and uh, so excited about year two and want to see how we expand that. So uh, LA Magazine's John Rigardi gave you a 10 out of 10 as his rating of the first year. Uh, how, really? would you, how would you rate the first year? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I have to read that. Yeah. You, you'll uh, like the article. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Well, you know, I think a perfectionist always wants to do more. So uh, I wouldn't say a 10 out of 10, maybe an 8 out of 10. <laughs> uh, you know, Inside Safe has had a lot of success for s certain people, as we saw certainly in Venice. Um, it's which city has spent $67 million on it. Uh, there's been 255 people that are permanently housed, um, more than that finding temporary housing. Uh, but that is a lot of money. And we know that we've spent billions of dollars as a, a city and a state on the issue yes. of homelessness. The, my big question is, where is all of that money going? Absolutely. Well, you know, we can give you a full financial report, but let me just say that uh, housing people is not just playing, paying for a room. It's meals, it's social services. There's a lot involved in it. We need to come up with a more cost-effective way of providing interim housing. That is for sure. But the other thing that you have to take into consideration is the cost that you're showing right now, how expensive it is to the city, to the neighborhoods, to the businesses, to the schools for people to be unhoused. So the scene that you're showing right now with all of those city workers, all of the trash and the garbage and all of that being removed while the, res while the uh, people in that encampment had gathered their belongings, so there is a tremendous cost to the city for people to be unhoused. I mean, is it fair to say, though, the money needs to be better spent? Well, I think we need to look for uh, more cost-effective ways for interim housing. But what we have done up until now, the de facto policy is you stay on the street until we build you a permanent house. So that's a real problem because it costs the city millions and millions of dollars to deal with the fires, to deal with the trash, to deal with all of the problems associated with people being on the street. If we look at year one, coming into this, you uh -huh. had a goal of having 17,000 people taken off the streets. Uh, you mm -hmm. ended up with over 21,000 people coming off the streets. At the beginning of the year, we thought there was about 46,000 homeless people. Year two, right. what's the goal? How many homeless are we looking at taking off the street? Well, you know, we haven't established that yet. We want to finish an evaluation of this year. But I will tell you that you know that Inside Safe was one piece of a much bigger strategy and that there were multiple ways that we were going to get people uh, off the street. So let me just tell you that one of the big goals next year will be to get more permanent housing uh, built because you know that we did a lot of expediting this year and I am hoping that I'm going to go to even more ribbon cuttings next year because of the measures that we have taken where units would have taken maybe a couple of years to be online will be online uh, next year which means that people will be housed. Do you think we need to have after you've really studied this issue so closely every single day do we need law changes to make it easier 
uh, for police, social workers, other people to get people off the streets? Or do you think we just yeah. need to better use the laws we already have? It's both. It's both. Let me just tell you a law that needs to change that keeps veterans on the street. Do you know that if a veteran receives their veteran benefits, that that might disqualify them from housing? So that is something I've been advocating for with our Secretary of Veterans Affairs, uh, Dennis McDonough. But he's finally decided that it's actually going to take legislative action for that to change. Another law that needs to be changed is we need to have additional vouchers, but they are limited by congressional action. So I can think of lots of laws that need to be changed that would allow more people to be off the streets. Um, you've been in a lot of jobs. Uh, now you're the mayor of Los Angeles. Before you were in Congress, you were a state assembly uh, member, led the state assembly, obviously worked in emergency medicine as a physician's assistant before all of that. Um, what job do you find most fulfilling? How does being mayor compare to being a member of Congress? Well, I have to tell you that this job, I mean, this has been just uh, exhilarating because I have found that I'm able to use all of my prior experiences on this job. And, you know, after I worked in the emergency room and I was a teacher at the School of Medicine as well, I started a grassroots community-based organization and many of the people I was working with were unhoused. So all of those experiences together have been extremely helpful to me. But if you ask me which job I like the best, there's no question, it's this one. And, and just last week, there was a press conference where a photographer passed out in the middle of it. And KNX has some video of this. You went out and literally were able to do a medical first aid. So you're literally bringing every job uh, together, especially in that moment. Uh, Mayor Bass, thank you so much for all the conversations along the way. And best of luck in year two. Thank you. And I know we'll be talking a lot in year two.